Hey everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic. Harp of the Holy Spirit, son of the Syrians, deacon of Edessa, pillar of the church. These were just a few of St. Ephraim of Syria's known titles. He was a poet and deacon of the early church and began his journey at the age of 18 on the day he was baptized fully into the church thanks to the guidance of St. James. Immediately, Ephraim began teaching the beauty of Christianity to his native city in Mesopotamia as a deacon at the biblical school, the School of Nisbis. Just years into his ministry life, he quickly became a refugee following the death of Constantine I. Taking advantage of the death of such a powerful ruler, the Persians fought and eventually captured Nisbis, forcing all Christians out of their homes, including Ephraim. He found himself fleeing with so much uncertainty, but this didn't destroy his zeal for the faith in the slightest. If anything, it only exploded from there. Ephraim settled in Edessa and learned he had a passion for the simple Christian life. If your definition of simple means defending the faith from heretics on a daily basis. We don't know that Ephraim was present at the Council of Nicaea, but we do know for a fact that he didn't stop correcting those who fell short of countless church teachings for the rest of his life. He wrestled with Gnosticism, Arianism, and many other heresies through the power of his homilies, hymns, and poems reflecting on the truth of the gospel. He was even credited for incorporating hymns and female choirs into liturgy. Many heretic butt-kicking years later, the harp of the Holy Spirit fell victim to the plague and died in the year 373 as a humble deacon. His writings continued influencing many church leaders and scholars, and in 1920, he was officially declared a doctor of the church. We have all experienced a moment in our lives where everything was going smoothly, only to be rocked upside down and thrown out the window. But we must choose at that precise moment if we will throw in the towel or stand for truth in the beauty that is God's one holy and apostolic church. May we all continue to sing the endless praises of God through the obstacles of life, just as St. Ephraim did. St. Ephraim of Syria, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint. Awaken the Saint is a three-minute daily show that unpacks the lives of the saints with practical messages for everyday life. Awaken the Saint is made in partnership by Spoke Street Media and Awaken Catholic. Spoke Street Media's mission is to amplify the voice of the Creator by fostering content that invites. We are excited to be able to collaborate with many individuals and organizations that are creating great content that is welcoming to all. Visit SpokeStreet.com. Awaken Catholic strives to bring people to truth through beauty by leveraging the power of media, pilgrimages, community, and events. Our mobile app is a hub for Awaken's various shows and includes an elegant English, Spanish, and Latin library. You can follow Awaken Catholic on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.